Did you know that the search engine Bing has a global market share of 2.47% and 5.85% in the US alone? Bing also captures an older audience with over 70% of users older than 35 and a household income of over $100,000. Bing is currently on more than 1.5 billion devices. Now, if you think Bing is dead, then you are completely wrong and you can generate large amounts of traffic from this massive search engine. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Now, today's focus is to help you submit your website to Bing Webmaster Tools. Okay, so before we dive into this tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into Bing Webmaster Tools. <music> Okay, so the first method that I'm going to cover in this tutorial for adding your website to Bing Webmaster Tools is through the Google Search Console verification process. Now, this method is only for those that have already connected Google Search Console with their website. Now, if you haven't already done this, I suggest you do this first before looking at Bing Webmaster Tools because Google generates the majority of traffic. So you want to make sure that you're capturing that traffic from Google by submitting your website to Google Search Console. Now, if you haven't already done this, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above that will show you the process of setting up your Google Search Console. So what I'll do is add that beginner's tutorial up above and I'll also add it down in the description below this video. Then what you want to do is head over to bing.com forward slash webmaster tools and that's going to take you to this website. Then simply navigate over to get started. Then here what we want to do is click Google and select the Google account that is associated with your Google search console. So we're going to go ahead and select this Google account here. And here what we want to do is select the Google Search Console option and import our sites from Google Search Console. So to do that simply come down and click import. Then following this method we're going to show you how to manually add your site to Bing Webmaster Tools. And this is if you don't currently have Google Search Console installed and you're not interested in adding Google Search Console. I don't know why, we highly recommend that you do add Google Search Console to your website. However, if you want to manually do this, we're going to show you how to do this on WordPress through a plugin. Okay, so before we show you that second method, what we're going to do is click import over here under Google Search Console. Then simply navigate down to continue. And again, go ahead and select the Google account that you used to connect Google Search Console with your website. And come down and click Allow. Then here, make sure that your website is selected and then come down and click Import. And congratulations, just like that, your site has been added to Bing Webmaster Tools. And as you can see, we have successfully imported one site from your Google Search Console account. Then once you see this success message, come down and click done. And just like that, we've arrived at our Webmaster Tools dashboard. Now if we navigate over to search performance, and you can see that we need to check back in 48 hours to see the data from our site. But that is the simplest way to connect and submit your website to Bing Webmaster Tools. Now what we're going to do is show you the second method for submitting your website to Bing Webmaster Tools via your WordPress website. If you have a WordPress website, we're going to show you how to do this with a plugin. So what we're going to do is head back to bing.com forward slash webmaster tools to start this process from scratch. Okay, so here we are back on the Bing Webmaster Tools landing page. Then what we need to do again is simply click get started. Again, the second method requires us to sign up with either Microsoft, Google or Facebook. Go ahead and sign up with any of these options. I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google again. 
and then I'm going to select this Google account and this time what we're going to do is add our site manually by coming down here and typing in our URL for our website exactly how it appears online. Now to find our URL what we can do is head over to our website. So head over to your website and we'll meet you there. And here we are on our WordPress website. Now once you've arrived at your website, all you need to do is navigate up to your URL or the search bar up here. And then if you simply click, you can see your entire URL. What we wanna do is copy this entire URL, including this section of our URL. Then what we're gonna do is right click and come down and click copy. Then simply head back to Bing Webmaster Tools and come down and simply right click and then paste your URL in here. Now you'll notice that your website either has just HTTP or HTTPS. Ideally you want your site to be HTTPS which means your site is secured. Now if your site is just HTTP then what you can do is watch our beginners tutorial that I'll link up above and add down in the description that's going to show you how to secure your website and add HTTPS rather than just HTTP. So go ahead and watch that tutorial if you like. Now what we're going to do once we've added our URL is simply come down and click add. Then under add and verify your site, what we're going to do is come down to HTML meta tag and click here. Then what we want to do is navigate over to copy and click copy. And as you can see, this code over here has been copied. Now what we're going to do is head over to our WordPress dashboard and install a plugin. So go ahead and log into your WordPress dashboard and we'll meet you inside. And once you've arrived inside your WordPress dashboard, simply navigate over to plugins and click add new. Then navigate over to search plugins and type in insert headers and footers. And then simply navigate down until you locate insert headers and footers by WP Beginner, by WP Beginner down here. This is the plugin that we want to install onto our WordPress website. You can see that this plugin has had over 1 million active installations and high reviews. So to install this plugin, simply navigate up to install now and then click activate. And just like that, you've installed and activated this plugin. Then simply navigate over to settings under tools and come down and locate insert headers and footers. Then under settings and under scripts in header, what we want to do is right click and then come down and paste the bit of code that we copied from Bing Webmaster Tools. This is the meta tag that we copied earlier. Then scroll down and locate save and click here. And once you've gone ahead and saved those changes, simply head back to Bing Webmaster Tools. And back here under HTML meta tag, what we want to do is come down and click verify. And congratulations guys, just like that you've successfully added your website. Your domain, the domain that you entered your website, is successfully added to Bing Webmaster Tools. Then simply come down and click done. And just like that guys, I have showed you two methods for submitting your website to Bing Webmaster Tools. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Bing Webmaster Tools tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way, I'll see you next time. Take care guys.